hey 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 y'all how are you it's your girl Kenya and welcome back to my channel and I am coming at you all with another video and this is a haul video yay 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 let's break up some of that emotional monotony and get back to what we all love best what all us girls love best shopping and makeup so if you guys are interested in seeing what your girl picked up today don't go anywhere y'all oh my gosh can you guys believe it okay to everyone who has been following me since my haircut you guys see this look at this look at this mess right here see that one of my subscribers said are your bangs growing back already yeah girl my bangs are growing back already and I can't deal with it which is why I even cut them in the first place and you guys saw me do my <laughs> my attempt to cut my bangs myself and then I even cut them again after that I had somebody um, in my class trim them up even higher for me and that was just maybe two weeks ago and they have grown back already and I can't take it so Next Thursday, your girl will have a totally different hairstyle. Yes, I am weaving it up. Weavy, weavy. I can't wait to get my sewing back. I think I was, uh, maybe about a year ago, I rocked the sewing for like almost two years straight, which is actually how my hair grew back. I actually had a really, really short haircut about two years ago, and I mean like Halle Berry short. And then I, um, for about a year and a half, maybe two years, I was um, getting sew-ins. I started off with a short bob. Then as my hair got longer, the weave, <laughs> the weave got longer. And then I was rocking my uh, my long weaves for a while, but then once my hair got really long, I was like, well, you know what? Let me just um see how it would be to rock my own hair for a little while. And um, yeah, so before I cut my hair was the end result of um, two years of wearing my sewing. So I think I'm gonna go back to my sewings for a little while, just um because again, my bangs have grown out. And I really don't want to cut it again. Like, I don't want to cut my bangs again because now I want a different hairstyle. So, uh, so I won't fiddle with it. Fit, excuse me. Fiddle with it and bother it and do all kinds of stuff to it. I'm just going to sew it up. And, yeah. Let me just shut up and get on with the haul. <laughs> I know, guys, but it's been so long since I've, I've talked to you guys. You know, the last videos that I made were, like, real serious and everything so it's been a long time since we just chopped it up about beauty and everything but yeah let's get to this haul because I stopped by a couple stores so on with the haul first store that I stopped at is called um blue mercury it's actually a spa um they do uh facials and they specialize in all the high-end um makeup lines like Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier um they carry my favorite creed imperial Melissime fragrance if you guys are not familiar with that go check that out again it's called creed and it's imperial Melissime. this is quite pricey so i only get this here and there in between i mean y'all know i love my viva la juicy but this is like for real for real this is serious right here so what i purchased from them was the um, Bobbi Brown Natural Finish Foundation. Now, I know you guys are saying, didn't you just buy some Bobbi Brown foundation on my bangs? These bangs are killing me, y'all. These bangs are killing me. Let me get them out the way. 
Anyway, you guys are probably like, you just bought some Bobbi Brown foundation a couple days ago. Yes, and I did not like it. I did not like the stick Bobbi Brown foundation. And actually, it kind of broke me out a little bit. I don't know if the formula was too heavy for my skin or it just like completely clogged my pores. I don't know what it was. I mean, I just assumed that all foundations were non-comedogenic. But I guess I was wrong. I, I mean, I actually like was real disappointed in the Bobbi Brown foundation. But it looked good on, looked it, did I say looked it or looked, it, it looked good on, but I noticed maybe about an hour later that my, my face was totally, totally broken. And I know you guys are probably like, I don't see anything, but you're not really going to be able to see it on this camera. Guys, I have a high definition camera that I have not used yet. Remember when I said I don't like change? Seriously, I bought a Sony high definition camera and I have yet to use it because I'm so used to using the camera that I'm using now that I don't want to change. I know, retarded, right? Yeah, but maybe one day I'll figure out how to use it. But anyway, I got the Bobbi Brown Natural Finish and as always, I got it in two different colors. I got the same colors that I got in the stick foundation. I got the um, almond, which is a 7 and then I got the Warm Almond, which is a 7.5. And I tried these on in the store. I walked around with it for a little while. And I actually like the finish of these more than I like the finish of, um, of those stick foundations. Again, the stick foundations were just way, way, way too heavy. Um, too heavy for me. I don't need that much coverage. And even when I tried to blend it down... It was still um, just too, just really too heavy. And again, like I said, it broke me out. I don't know if um, if it was just that formula or if it if it was Bobby Brown. I'm hoping not. I'm I'm willing to give it a try again. Um, the Bobby Brown Natural Finish Long Foundation was um, forty five dollars a bottle. If anybody is interested in um, giving those a try, so yeah, that's all I got from Blue Mercury. So we'll just move on. The next store that I went to was um, Sally Beauty Supply, just um, my local beauty supply store. And I picked up some leave-in conditioner. If anybody is looking for a great leave-in conditioner, Fermadil leave-in conditioner is the bomb. Funny story, really quick. My hairdresser was telling me about this leave-in conditioner. Fermadil, Fermadil is so good. And I'm like, oh, I got to get some of that. So I just happened to be in my house one day cleaning out my hair products. And I noticed this little dusty thing sitting in my hair thing. And I looked and it said Fermadil. I said, oh, shoot. This was what Jennifer was just talking about. And I had some. I put that stuff in my hair, y'all. You would have thought I got a fresh relaxer. That re conditioner... I I can't I, I don't even know the words to explain what it did to my hair it's like it restored the elasticity um I can't even explain it. it it seems like it instantly instantly repaired my hair my hair feels so good and silky and I think I'm going on what maybe three or four weeks maybe three weeks with my relaxer now and it does not feel like it and I really have to kind of attribute it that to that Fermadil leave-in conditioner so I bought two they were on sale at Sally's buy one get one free I got one in for dry coarse curly hair which I'm gonna use on my husband's and then I got another one for double processed hair it's 10 o'clock double processed hair which I'm going to use for my hair I think I'm actually gonna try the dry coarse curly hair as well because I do have dry scalp so it comes um let me th see it comes three applications take these out for you. Can you guys see these? Because I don't know my light is kind of blinding. Let me take them out. Oh, something spilled in the bottle. Okay. So they look like this. And one of these is one whole application. Shake it up. Pop the top. And just pop it into your hair. And I believe these were um, $8.99 a piece. But at Sally Beauty Supply, which I'm sure Sally Beauty Supply has a website, probably www.sallybeautysupply.com, they are on sale for buy one, get one free. I actually really want to go back and stock up on these because these are really, really, really good to have. And being that they're leaving, like even if, like, say you have a, um, a sew-in, you can just stick this and probably put it in, like, on the corn rolls in your sew-in. So, you know, it's uh, repairing while you... Why you're wearing repairing why you're wearing so yeah just got these two fermadil leave-in conditioners 
And then I just got a couple more of these little tubies. Oh, yeah, something did spill in my bag. I think it was my husband's cheese stuff. He got some cheese stuff for his hair. I keep telling that man, you do not use a flat iron. Why do you need cheese? I like it. I just want it. I don't let that man do what he want to do or whatever. He was buying today, so I was not going to argue with him. I'm like, yeah, baby, you get whatever. Mm -hmm. You need that for your hair? Mm -hmm. But make sure you grab me some of that while you at it. Mm -hmm. I need some of that, too. So I was not going to tell that man no today. Anyway, I just got a couple of more lippies. Um lippy lippy uh things so when i um melt my lipstick down i think i'm actually going to stick some of this in my hair because it's all over my hands okay. last but not least mac cosmetics has launched their new line today their new peacocky line yes so of course you know your girl had to had to had to go check it out um with this line, it's exactly what you're thinking. When you think of a peacock, that is what you are going to find with this line. Um, from the lip colors all the way down to the eyeshadows. I want to say there are maybe 10 eyeshadows and I think 10 um, cream glasses. I'm not. Let me see what the name of these are so I can get it right. They are called Kissable Lip Color. That's all they're called. But I think there's 10 of them in the line. I didn't like all of them. I didn't even like all of the colors. I actually only picked up um, picked up three of them. I picked up um, Odalisk. Odalisk? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know how you, how you pronounce this. But this is um, like that that green that I'm always raving about. You know what, guys? I really want to swatch these, but I need to make sure all that oil is off my hands before I swatch them. So let me go wash my hands off real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Um, I'm back. I know y'all like, oh, my gosh. She does so much to just do a haul video. Yeah, y'all know there is nothing traditional about me. There's nothing standard about me. I don't do anything the way anybody else does it. I do things the way I want to do them. <laughs> Anyway, this is um, one of the colors, and this is the name of it. I don't know if you guys can read that. Odalisk, is that how you would pronounce that? But these are um, mega metal shadows. That's what they're called. Oh, you can see the color a lot better from these. And they are said, this is, this is what the girl said, they go on, they glide on like a cream, but they finish like a powder. So let me just swatch this one really quick so I can show you guys the color. And this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. So, so pretty. I really did like this color. They were like pinks and purples. I have so many pinks and purples. I wanted to actually get something that I did not have. And then the next color that I got is called Paparazzi. Paparazzi. I like that name. And this is like a burnt copper color, which I, I really, really like as well. I'm not a neutral girl, but this was like really out of the box. It was like an orange, an orange copper color. Really, really, really pretty. And that color is right there. I like the texture of these a lot. And you know what? Another reason why I like these is because they're not like a shimmer. They're not like a shimmer or a frost. They are definitely like like metallic. They, they remind you of metal. I think those colors are pretty together. And then the last one that I purchased is called Tweet Me. Tweet Me. How ironic I would get Tweet Me and don't have a Twitter. I don't know how to tweet. I don't know. I just never took the time to learn. I guess there's really nothing to it. But Tweet Me is like probably a little bit lighter. Well, not a little bit, but the lighter version of this and it's so 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 pretty on it's like a pinky type like a pinky peachy gold type color all these colors i will wear together i will wear this on my lid i will wear this in the inner about the inner third i will wear this in the middle to the outer third and i will put this color in my crease and of course, I would add a couple more colors in there to play around with. But these colors are fabulous. So that's Tweet Me, 
paparashi and i'm not even going to pronounce this one so these are the colors that i picked from the peacocky line these are really actually the only ones that i really was like wow about i mean i have so many eyeshadows it really makes no sense for me to get colors that look even similar to any of the other colors that i have so i tried to pick some that were really really um different than anything that i have and i think these are definitely definitely different and then you know maybe somewhere down the line i might trickle in and pick up another another couple but anyway the matte call will con continues because there's a lot more you heard what my husband talking junk in the other video i had to spend so and so so anyway i purchased four of the um kissable lip colors now i actually wanted to swatch these on my lips but since the video was so long already i don't i don't think i'm gonna do that i think maybe i will just swatch them on the back of my hand um the first color is called flaunting it and it's like a purple like like an eggplant like a light eggplant color really really pretty this is that color very very pretty these are really these are like um wow they're like uh like lipsticks i only put a little bit on the back of my hand and look at the payoff see that now i'm rubbing them in so yeah these wow wow great great coverage the next color that i got is called vanity fair and that is like a bubblegum pink and y'all all know i love 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 my pink lips y'all that's this color on the bottom i don't know if you guys can really see that right there pretty 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 this will look really pretty over top of that Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. So if any of you have the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday and want to know how to tone it down and make it less ashy, go pick up the Vanity Fair Kissable Lip Color by um, Max and Max New Peacocky line. I think those will look really, really good together. I'll put them together just to show you guys um, what they look like. This one is called, in, I would say Encante, but it looks like Enchante, but it's probably Encante. And this is um, like a baby pink, like a soft, soft pink. Yep, pale pink, right up there. Y'all know your girl loves her pinks. Love my pinks, love my pale, pale pink lipstick. Give me a pale pink lipstick and I am a hoppy camper. And then last but not least, this one is called Super. And this is that pale beige color. That's another one of my um, one of my favorites. It's either pale pink or like a pale neutral beige. Now they actually did have um oh that is so pretty. That's like a um almost like a mocha right there, like very, very skin tone. They actually had um they had a lip color that was like just like this. I think they probably had a lip color to match each one of the eyeshadows. But um what I was gonna say is they had li other lip colors that I liked, but I my poor husband he spent enough money, so I I was just like you know I'll get this and then if I like the rest of them um, if I like any more I'll just go back because I actually did more damage than just the peacocky line. The next thing I bought was just the, uh, um, oh, and I'm sorry, for any of you guys who are interested, the um, lip colors were $21.50 and the eye colors were $23.50, I believe. Okay, so I just got a big um, thing of makeup wipes. These are like my favorite, favorite makeup wipes. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is that they, they're a little too rough, but I love the way they, um, oh, I can't take this bang. 
<laughs> I'm all twisted. I love the way they remove the makeup. They remove the makeup very well. And I also use these to kind of spot clean my brushes. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If anybody um, wants a good makeup remover, Max makeup removers. And this is a um, hundred sheets. And these last me quite a bit of time. I don't I don't go through these um, that quickly. And they're from the new Champagne um, line. I got the Fix Plus Lavender. Then I purchased this um, cream color base in Madly Magenta. And I think there's a couple of um, girls on YouTube who've already probably shown this. I think my girl Homique um, was one of them who showed the Madly Magenta. For any of you who have not seen it, this is what it looks like. You can use this on your eyes, you can use this on your cheeks, you can you can pretty much use cream color base just about anywhere on the face. And then I got two of the Turquatic um, fragrances. Now I got an email that Turquatic was being discontinued. When I went into the store, the girl said that she had no knowledge of this. And this is my husband's favorite, favorite fragrance. So I said, you know what, just get two just in case. And then if they really are going, going on, then we're going to go probably scoop up the whole shipment because my husband goes through these like I mean he has one in his car for goodness sakes like ugh, I get in the car and the seat belt smells he worse than, than women and then I purchased um, three new paint pots one in let me pop which is in the new champagne line this is just like a um, a, a gold like a goldy, like a peachy gold, and this would look so good underneath that um, new eyeshadow, that new metallic eyeshadow that I just purchased. I can't wait to combine these two. And then I purchased uh, Dangerous Cuvee, which is like a um, like a silver, like it, it's almost, almost like a silvery purple, like a little bit. I can get the darn things open. Goodness gracious! Oh my goodness! I was almost about to call my husband. <laughs> it's like a um, like a silvery. I see flecks of pink and purple in it. And then the last one I got is called Chilled on Ice, which is like a um, these things are closed really tight. Oh my goodness! Which is like another um, like a like a golden beige color very very pretty and the um the paint pots i think they were 20 20 dollars a piece and um the madly magenta i'm not really sure how much that was then i got a pen ultimate brow maker that and then i got a pen ultimate eyeliner in um rapid black when i swatched on the back of my hand i was like oh i like that and i like the fact that it's a pencil and then it came on my it 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 drew on my hand almost like the fluid line and the gel eyeliner from Inglot that I love so much. So I can't wait to give this a try. And then last but not least, I purchased two lipsticks from the um, the new um, lip color collection. I don't even know what the name of it is. Um, but this color is called Something New. And it is a hot hot pink you guys can see that maybe I'll do a little swatch hot hot pink it's right there and then the next one that I purchased is neon orange I don't have any neon orange lipsticks the closest that I have to neon orange is morange and it's not actually a neon orange and this is certainly a neon orange but you know something new definitely something new to to try so yeah guys that is it for um my haul for the day i think that was a lot and if you ask my husband he will say it was too much so yeah i'm um i know i keep saying i'm not gonna do no more makeup shopping and i'm just gonna stick to hauls but they keep coming up with new stuff for me to buy y'all stop asking me to try stuff stop asking me to to to, to look at stuff and sample stuff and try stuff because then I, I i i just keep buying and buying and buying and buying and and i can't get to 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 the tutorial guys i got a secret for you guys february 10th mac is coming out with a wonder woman line what and 
I heard, I heard, I heard through the grapevine that it's some fabulous things in that collection. So I'm really, really, really excited. Mark it on your calendar. Save the date February 10th, which is hubby's birthday and my niece's birthday. February 10th, Mac is coming out with a Wonder Woman line. I cannot wait to see what they have in that Wonder Woman line because that is my favorite, favorite, favorite Marvel hero, Wonder Woman. I think we can all relate to her. But anyway, guys, I know this video has been like so long and there's been so much mixed in between it. I am going to go and finish my Kool-Aid and put some of this stuff away because I think I owe you guys a room tour. Don't I owe you guys a room tour? And a storage tour and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, I think I, yeah, I think that's coming up. So let me get my stuff together, and that just might be the next video. And then I'll get a chance to use that high definition camera that's just sitting over there somewhere, just collecting dust in the box. So for now, cheers and deuces.